So most of us are very familiar with uh, positive and negative electrodes. But within the any battery, there are two other very important components which we may not be so familiar with. And the first one is the uh, electrolyte, which is uh, shown on the, the left there. So the electrolyte is a very essential part of any battery. And essentially, is an ionically conducting uh, medium. Usually, it's in the form of a, a paste, a semi-solid paste. And it's located between the cathode and the anode. And by ionically conducting medium, what we mean is that the electrical current is carried not by the electrons, but by positive and negative ions within the electrolyte. So how do we prepare the electrolyte? There are various ways to do this, but usually what we do is we take a, a salt such as uh, potassium chloride could even be sodium chloride which contains positive and negative ions so in potassium chloride the potassium will be the positive ions and the chloride ions will be the negative ions and you dissolve this salt in a solvent right a liquid and what you will get is an ionically conducting uh, electrolyte. And this must be present between the cathode and the anode. The fourth component of any battery is the separator. And uh, as the name suggests, the separator is used to separate the cathode and the anode of the battery. And it's really just a permeable membrane which allows the ions to pass through the pores, the little holes of the membrane freely. But because the separator is also an electrical insulator, so it will prevent the anode and cathode from short-circuiting each other. In other words, the separator will not allow electrons to pass through and therefore the electrons have to go through the external circuit.